Looks like I've finally got a 4G signal repeater working on the uh, Lime S SDR. Um, what I've done is uh, loaded it up in POFOS as a basic um, receiver and transmitter. It's um, at a frequency of 806 megabytes and bandwidth of 30 megahertz and same with uh, here with sample rate of 30 megahertz. Um, then I've got those settings and uploaded that into Lime Suite. Um, just made a few alterations in the Limelight and Pad panel, so you need to have these settings as they are there. And in modes, you need to have the RX TSP in the data transport transmit port. And um, what I've been doing is um, fiddling about with the INQ settings and the DC corrector and monitoring them with this um, cheapo SDR unit. So this is tuned right in, zoomed right in on 805.969.3 megahertz. And that's that noise is the um, DC component of the signal. And it seems to vary quite a lot. And if I were to mess about with the IMQ settings, which I'm not going to do right now, maybe a bit later, uh, the noise and the intensity of that signal can be made to reduce or increase. And obviously, we want to reduce it, get rid of it if possible. Uh, so, if we go back to here, here's my phone. It's actually got a fairly strong signal at the moment, anyway, minus 114. Hopefully, by operating this um, <coughs> program and make it even stronger. So um, go back to Lime Suite and we look at the setting here. At the moment, TX Pad gain control is on its minimum, even though it says 31, that's actually the minimum. So uh, let's ramp it up to 10. Yes. Right, immediately we hear a difference on this uh, computer and we've got lots of nice pretty lines on our waterfall so that indicates we are now transmitting so that whining noise again is a DC corrector and let's see if we've got a corresponding signal on the phone right well uh, we've still got a good signal at least it hasn't, hasn't jammed my phone which is um, what it did before um, <clears throat> and the thing to do here is because we're operating at a very low power we're only using the Line SDR, we've got no other amplification. I'm going to move my phone closer to the area. And now it is within half a metre of the area. And look at that, we have obvious change in the signal intensity. This is the aerial, this uh, plate aerial. Let's zoom out. It's literally half a metre from my phone. And I never really normally get as good a signal as this. This is like Really great, really good. And then if we move the phone away again, it should deteriorate. Hopefully it'll go back to where it was before. It takes a while for it to respond. There it goes. It's gone down. So there we are, what was that? 13 dBm difference by moving it close to the aerial and then moving it away again. And just to prove that it wasn't a fluke, let's do it again. So we we'll take the phone and move it across close to the aerial. Yeah, there we are. See, immediately it's gone down to minus 102 dBm. So that's a that's an increase. Right, something really strange is happening on the computer. This is interesting. Oh, what the hell is this? I'd say that is really bad. But I take my phone away and it disappears. So it's something to do with the phone. The phone's actually got a really good signal on it at the moment as well, which is kind of strange. I'd say there's some kind of feedback loop going on there with my phone. I'm not sure, it's worth investigating at a, another time. So the signal's gone down again, which is good, that's what you'd expect, at least I haven't broken the phone. 
Uh, let's check that I can still send and receive emails. There you go. Yes, no problem. Actually, it's a lot faster than normal. That's great. So, I'd say that was working. And just to show what happens with the DC corrector, if I move um, the sliders here just a tiny little bit one way or the other, here we are, so it changes the pitch, so that's made it worse. It's obviously louder and sounds generally more nasty. And move it the other way, up to minus 19, that's an improvement. Move it the other way, minus 12. And that sounds bad again. So it's obviously a very fine adjustment that's made here. Is it minus 19? Yeah. And again here. Yeah. So that you know that sounds reasonable. That sounds better. Move it across minus 34. <coughs> no, plus 34. Not an awful lot of difference. Maybe slightly like less. And about 28. No real change. 21. Slightly worse. Eight, a lot worse. It's bad. So, yeah, very fine adjustments to be made here. And that's what was jamming my phone on uh, previous tests, I think. Still very interesting.